Hello YouTubers, this is the Bman 610 and I'm going to do my final review on 2010 sets for a while probably. And this is on the Army Men on Patrol. So first I just want to show you the instruction manual, it's pretty cool. And it's no different than any other instruction manual except it has clouds in the background. It's easy to read like all Lego manuals are. So onto the box. You get your stats, it's actually 90 pieces which this stat is down here. Instead of up there, so it can show Woody and Buzz. Then you know, picture, your guy. Then it shows what you get. They're called Green Army Men, and you know, a little picture. Now, on to the set. I'm just gonna. So, first the minifigs. Sorry, forgot to put these guys out. Um, you get a really nice medic, which is the same as other guys. He has a backpack, walkie talkie, and a briefcase. Oopsie, which this is my first briefcase. Of course, it's color green. There's actually only five pieces. No, I think there's like ten pieces in this set that aren't green. So, yeah, it can open. And he has a really, really awesome looking helmet with a medic symbol on it. Just love that helmet. It's part of the reason I bought this set. And then you get a regular trooper that comes with binoculars. Same helmet except no medic symbol. Regular trooper that comes with a metal detector. And then regular trooper that comes with a green rifle. So that's the minifigures. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this, but they come with little base plates. Which can actually stick on other base plates. It's pretty cool. And then it comes with a stretcher, which is really nice. The minifigures can actually hold it. It's cool. And then extra pieces, extra green stud. Nice. 2 by 4 no, 2 by 2 plate. Extra green binoculars, extra walkie-talkie, and extra green rifle. And for those of you guys that have seen like that heavy gun that has the four gray binoculars on it, well, if you get two of these sets, you can you'll actually end up having four of these. So then you can make that gun with um these. That's pretty cool. And if you do make that, just give me credit for it. Show it in the vid. So anyway, on to the Jeep, I guess. It's kind of like a Hummer Jeep thing. Pretty cool. Looks really nice. There's a little steering wheel. You can put a guy in there, and then you can put another guy up here. And the stretcher, I thought it was originally supposed to go back here, but actually, it works the best, like, up here. It's kind of on a slant, but, you know, oh well. And then there's just a little tire on back. Pretty cool. So you can, like, change it. Like, have a spare tire. Sorry about the lighting. It's kind of weird. It's casting shadows. And just actually reviewing it on the other side of the table compared to where I usually review. And it's really made, making the lighting a lot different. And then um, there's the front of it. And um, I was going to tell you something. Oh, yeah. I'm going to compare it to the other sets so you can see how small it is. First one was my last review. Road Trooper Battle Pack. This thing has more pieces in it. Well, actually, they might have the same amount of pieces because a lot of pieces go into the minifigs. But as you can see, same width. And the Road Trooper Battle Pack has a good, yeah, inch on it. So next is the Stone Chopper, for those of you who collect Power Miners. About the same size. The Stone Chopper is a little bigger. Next is the old Rebel Speeder. Which I'm going to compare the um, new one to it. New one, small compared to it. And this thing is just dwarf compared to it. It's like a good, like, three inches on it. So then... Imperial Dropship, as you can see this thing's really small. I customized the back so it's actually smaller. So if you make the back a little longer, you could just carry it. And then the speeder, as you can see, obviously smaller in width. And then, but it's longer. Got a good three inches, two inches on it. And um, I would highly recommend this set to any collector. Anyone, if you collect Lego, if you even have a Lego set, and you want to get another one, I would highly recommend this set. It's good for Lego Star Wars collectors like me, Power Miners, City, anything. It's just an amazing set. And also, my friend, his uncle works at Pixar, so he's actually like designed some characters and stuff. So that's part of the reason I got this set. And he also used to work at LucasArts, and he designed, my friend's uncle designed Anakin's pod racer, if I remember correctly. That's pretty cool. So yeah, hope you liked my review. Hope you liked all three of my reviews. And see ya.